do you live in a tropical country or you're traveling to a place with poor sanitary conditions, then it is important that you should know about amoebiasis. Does your child have belly pain, diarrhea, and blood in the poop? Then you might consider amoebiasis. In this video, we will talk about what is it, uh, what causes it, how is it spread, what are the signs and symptoms in a child with amoebiasis, what are the ways to diagnose it and how to treat it, and importantly, how do you prevent it? Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Amoebiasis. So what is it? It is an infection of the intestines and it is caused by a parasite known as Entamoeba histolytica. This parasite is an amoeba, a single-celled organism. And people can get infected by it by drinking or eating something that it is contaminated with. Who are at risk for amoebiasis? Well, Anyone can get this infection, but people who are more at risk are those who live in tropical areas with poor and sanitary conditions. Um, in developed countries like the US, for example, it is not that common, but people can still get infected by it when they have traveled to these areas. So how does it spread? Amoebiasis is contagious. An infected person, even when he or she has no symptoms, can have the, in, the parasite in his or her intestine and can pass an infected stool, which can contaminate uh, water or food. Um, this is especially true in areas where the drinking water might be contaminated. It is also spread from person to person when the hands are not washed properly. And amoebiasis is commonly seen in areas which are crowded and unsanitary. Now, what are the signs of this infection? For some people, the parasite can, be, can live in the intestine without causing any symptoms. For other people though, it can cause diarrhea, which may be bloody. It can cause belly pain, uh, cramping, nausea or vomiting loss of appetite, and fever as well. Now, the person can show signs and symptoms days to weeks after swallowing a contaminated food or water. How can this infection be prevented? Since amoebiasis can contaminate food and water, it is important that you're conscious about the food you're eating and drinking. So food should be prepared well, cooked, and boiled. It is also important to wash hands frequently. Wash hands after using the bathroom, wash hands before preparing food, and wash hands before eating. How is amoebiasis diagnosed and treated? And when should you worry and call the doctor? But before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? Or you already have a newborn? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? When you know how to breastfeed baby, um, know how to soothe a crying baby, know how to give baby a bath? If you feel tired, you lack sleep, you're overwhelmed, you're not quite sure what to do, I have developed an online training video series known as the five newborn care strategies. Do check that out in the description section. How is this infection diagnosed? So when you go to your doctor, your doctor would ask for your signs and symptoms and would do a physical examination. Your doctor would also request for your stool sample to be sent to the laboratory. Now, Entamoeba histolytica is difficult to diagnose in stool samples, so it is possible that you might have to submit several stool samples taken from different days. 
How is amoebiasis treated? Well, it is treated with an antibiotic which should be prescribed by your doctor. When you're sick with amoebiasis, it is also important that you keep yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids and an oral rehydration solution. Now, you should worry if anybody in your family is suffering from these signs and symptoms. When anyone has diarrhea with blood or mucus, when the diarrhea has lasted for more than two weeks, when there is belly pain, fever, a swollen belly, or pain on the right side below the ribs. And you should also worry if there are signs of dehydration, such as dry mouth, crying without tears, peeing less often, uh, dizziness or drowsiness. When traveling, you should keep yourself and your family safe. How to go about it? Drink uh, bottled water, which still has a seal on it. Drink tap water, which has been boiled for at least a minute. Uh, drink tap water, which has been filtered. Food and drinks that might not be safe are those from fountain drinks or uh, drinks with ice cubes on it. Also, fresh fruits and vegetables, which you did not peel yourself and also food and drinks from street vendors. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.